What? Did they use force on somebody? There's somebody lying on the ground, surrounded by cops. Good. Did they use force on this dude? I don't know. Or was he like that beforehand? They're searching through his bag without his permission. No, I don't think that's an overdose. It could be, I don't know, maybe. Did they even call the paramedics? Hey, if, if you've seen the history of the VPD in this area, you'd be suspicious anytime. They tend to hurt vulnerable people more than they help them. Yeah, exactly. Indigenous people, how's it going? It's doing good, man. Indigenous people are like, I don't know how many more times you can look up the exact statistics online, but they're in much greater danger of being killed by the cops, brutalized by the cops than like the general population. A long time ago, yeah, many years ago. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think the firefighters are here, or fire rescue is here. No, I think they're actually going somewhere else. What? Yeah, he looks like a pretty young dude, maybe 30 year old, 30, 40. Yeah, that was a pretty fast response. Sometimes I've actually seen these types of situations that where it takes like two hours for the ambulance to arrive. Troll. Like I said, look up the history of the cops. If you know the history, if you've seen the history of the VPD, check out how many innocent, vulnerable people they've killed, how often it happens. Do I even saw an article, I think it was like City News of Vancouver Sun, I saw an article where it says, VPD are actually the most dangerous police force in all of Canada, pretty much. They've had the most, they've been involved in the most police killings. Yeah, I know. Did they run over that Chinese? Did Sorry? They run, run them over? Who? Oh, oh really? They run over that Chinese. I have no idea if he got run, that's what that guy, he was saying somebody got run over. I'm not sure if he's talking about this dude or somebody else. Yo, that one blonde club seems pretty hostile. <laughs> he keeps giving me side eye. I have no idea what happened to this dude. <laughs> hey bro, did you happen to see what happened to him? Oh, he fell off his bike? Oh. Hey, thanks for that, man. Appreciate it.
Okay, okay so apparently he fell off his bike. You ever figure out your blood type? I think, uh, the fire's gonna be as red. 10-46. Yeah, that's, some people can't afford helmets. Hey Van City, thanks for subscribing, appreciate it. Yeah, it's possible he's got a concussion because he keeps he keeps wilting over from the garlic bread, thanks for sharing the live, appreciate it. Hey, that cop, that cop over there, he's part of the organized crime unit. You can see it on his vest there. What is with this gimbal? Do you have Shit. Any I don't know, there's like conflicting stories. I'm not totally sure what happened. Some one guy was saying that passed by was saying somebody got run over, possibly him. He was saying that he fell off his bike. That cop was saying he suspects it's a diabetic situation, the guy passed out. It's a common sight in Vancouver. Cops standing around doing next to nothing. Yo, check out the mustache on that dude. That's a cool looking mustache. Sadaf, thanks for subscribing. The crazy thing is like fire, fire medics, <coughs> apparently they don't even I don't know if they don't have the equipment or the training, but they don't even do that much because <clears throat> I did a live like a while ago. There was this guy named Matthew. He was having like a convulsion or something. It was like the middle of winter. He was freezing his ass off. The cops showed up, fire medics showed up and they weren't doing anything. It was pretty much similar to this. They were like all standing around and the guy was like convulsing and stuff all over the place. They wouldn't even let him into the police car. It was crazy. I know they're voting, but I, I used to think that fire medics. I, I used to kind of think that they had like they had a lot of training, right? That they could take care of kind of at least preliminary stuff when there's a medical distress situation. But apparently, they don't even they don't have much training on like even preliminary stuff, it looks like. Because a lot of the times, I think they just wait for the ambulance, they don't really. I think they can apply oxygen and do CPR and all that, but other than that.
I think they're taking his blood sugar levels or his blood pressure or something. They're doing something over there. Oh yeah, it looks like they're taking his blood sugar. Yo, that's the thing. One of the things in Vancouver, it can take hour. It can take 45 minutes, an hour, sometimes even more than that for an ambulance to arrive. Like the Matthew situation I was talking about in winter time, he was having convulsions and all this. Like thrashing on the ground. It took two hours for paramedics to arrive. Like the guy could have died by then. And they're not funded enough, right? That's one of the things. The paramedics, they're not funded enough. Yet the police, they keep getting funded $400 million budget. Yeah, exactly. T two hours. It's not a political thing. Like most politicians are terrible. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what party they belong to. Pretty much all politicians, all they care about is power, staying in power, getting power. Conservatives, liberals, Democrats, all that stuff. Pretty much all of them are terrible. Matt, thanks for subscribing. Less cops, more EHS. That's. We need more firefighters. Like, I'm pretty sure even the firefighters are underfunded compared to the cops. Uh, don't start attacking immigration. That's not relevant. Probably. Yeah, Jeffrey, exactly. Different agendas, but they're pretty much all the same. Hey, Amber, what's going on? I didn't see you. How's it going? I think they're trying to convince the guy to go to the hospital, it looks like, but I don't think he wants to go to the hospital. If you're gonna be a troll, you're gonna get booted. Mm. Anybody know how much an ambulance ride actually costs? Luke, the ride along stuff, that's that's BS, like if they know they're going to be filmed, right? If they know they're going to be filmed, then of course they're going to behave professionally, right? They're not going to do what they typically do. They're not going to behave how they typically behave. So doing a ride along is pretty pointless because it doesn't, it doesn't give a true representation of how, the, how most cops really are in the city. Because again, if they know they're being filmed, then of course they're going to alter their behavior. You're not going to get a true sense of what they're really like on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, yeah, live. Man. Yeah. Ambulance is free with MSP. You've never been charged for one. Hey, thanks for that info, Amber. Yeah, but what if somebody doesn't have MSP? Is it still is it still covered or it's eighty dollars? Don't call it. There's so many people that have a complete mistrust of the police because, again, VPD's got a terrible reputation. So there's people that get assaulted and they refuse to call the police because they know that, like, bad cops could show up. They do. They, there's a lot of victim blaming that goes on. They barely help. There's people that have been called, that have been assaulted by the police. They've called the police and the cops ended up actually, like, going after them, victim blaming them instead of going after the actual perp. So it's a horrible... There's a lot of people that refuse to call the police. <laughs> Nina, hey, sorry that happened to you. Hell Grinder, thanks for subscribing. Okay, so it seems like the dude's gonna be okay. I don't know, he's still slumped. I don't know, I don't know. He's, he's still slumped over the sidewalk, but... 
the guy's he's breathing and I think the paramedics might be on the way I'm not totally sure Sayiri what's going on you had a cop fired oh yeah I think you've told that story before yeah like go into detail about that if you want like for those for anyone that hasn't heard that story it's super rare for a cop to get fired I mean there's murderers there's actual murderers on the BPD payroll so cops can like murder somebody and still get away with it and not face any accountability I mean doctors should be scrutinized anybody how's it going all those how's it going right nice to meet you <laughs> Uh, enjoying filming here? Huh? Are you enjoying filming? What do you mean? Do you like filming people that are with the cops? Ah, uh, the cops. Do you know the history of the cops? That's why. Like, the cops here have a horrible, uh, right, horrible right, history. Yeah, yeah. You have a horrible hat. Uh, what? Don't make fun of the hat. How dare you? How dare he make fun of the hat? Yo, see, that's crazy. Like, some people don't even know the history of the VPD around here. Like, uh, there's so many bad cops in the city, there's so many innocent people that have been killed and some people aren't even aware of it. I want views, eh? okay. You want some views? Oh, he's actually a bootlicker. Looks like he's a bootlicker, possibly. I can't believe he talked bad about the fedora. How dare he talk bad about the fedora. Amber, that's so nice of you to offer that. Yeah, there's a. That's another thing. Again, cops, they keep getting millions of dollars even though they spend most of that money, it seems like, just harassing homeless people, displacing homeless people. But there's actually a shortage of doctors too. Family doctors, like, there's thousands of people in BC and stuff that don't even have a family doctor. Yo, I know, there's like a short nurse, nurse shortage too. Like, there's so many things mental health crisis, healthcare crisis. Commute. It's instead of funding those things, they keep giving money to the cops. The bootlicker left left already. <laughs> Costa, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. Okay, I think I'm going to get out of here now. I don't know. I think they're waiting for the paramedics to arrive. That guy's still kind of... Doesn't look like he's in good condition. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they're waiting for the paramedics. I don't know how long it's going to take for the paramedics to arrive. Again, sometimes it can take anywhere from like... It can be anywhere from like a half an hour to two hours for paramedics to arrive, so... That was it. Hey, the paramedics just arrived. Yeah, sorry about the screen. I don't know why. I think the gimbal's gonna die soon. Yo, that guy's having trouble standing. No, this is Vancouver, downtown Vancouver. Okay, he's in the ambulance. Oh shit. Shit. Stupid gimbal, what? Stay still, okay. It's a different kind of ambulance. You typically don't see that kind of ambulance, but sometimes...
there's certain situations where that ambulance shows up instead of the regular one. No, no, I don't know you then. You're in, no. Yeah, it does kind of look like a shuttle bus. <laughs> 